scientists who work their entire lives trying to make a monumental discovery but end up getting nowhere and others who end up making genius discoveries entirely by accident. Luigi Galvani is the latter of the two. Galvani is credited with the discovery of bioelectricity and he did not even realize what incredible breakthroughs his discoveries would make when he accidentally touched the muscle of a frog's leg with a scalpel that just happened to have an electric charge on it. Galvani believed that this was the effect of what he later referred to as animal electricity. After Galvani had conducted his experiments and proposed his theory, it was almost immediately shut down by another great mind of the time, Alessandro Volta. Galvani believed that his animal electricity came from the muscle of the frog and the muscle itself must contain electricity. This electricity made the muscle twitch. Alessandro Volta, an associate of Galvani, hypothesized that the main factors in Galvani's discovery were the two different metals, the steel knife and the tin plate, with the frog being the electrolyte in between. This theory turned out to be the correct one in the end. Galvani held his chair as the president of the University of Bologna for 33 years. In 1797, following the occupation of the country by the Neapolitanic army, Calvani, being a man of integrity, refused to take the oath of allegiance required of him by the invaders and was dismissed from the university because of it. Sadly, he died the following year as a poor and broken man. But hey, not everything went badly for Calvani. It would be hard to imagine where the field of bioelectricity would be today as to this very day scientists in this field use it to study the electrical patterns and signals of the nervous system. Even though Galvani is long gone, he is not forgotten. As many terms such as galvanized, galvanic electricity, and of course Andre Ampere's device used for measuring electric current, the galvanometer, are all named after him. So even though Galvani was wrong with explaining just exactly what he had discovered, he still got a crater on the moon named after him. I feel happy and fine, ha ha! Living in the sunlight, loving in the moonlight, having a wonderful time.